اوكي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we'll start um, section 7.3 the eigenvalue method for linear systems what we have in this section and the next one we want to solve homogeneous linear systems of this form so first i want to rewrite this form in the in a matrix form in a matrix and in, in the matrix form which is this one x prime equal ax so what is the idea i will let capital x to be x1 x2 uh, vector x1 x2 xn where x1 x2 up to xn these are functions if you notice this side this side is what if we have x prime then it will be x1 prime x2 prime up to xn prime the derivative of each term and that will be the left hand side x prime okay now let me change the color if you look at this one and they let a hmm, let the matrix a let me write the matrix a this way a11 a12 up to a1n a21 a22 a2n this is a n1 a n2 a n n this is my matrix a then this one will be what a times x so the first row a11 x1 a12 x plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 plus blah 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 plus a1 n x n and so on so I have the system x prime x x prime equal ax. Yes. Example, this is an example. And the color. Example. What I have here. I let capital X to be XY. So this side we have X prime which is dx over dt, the derivative now with respect to t, which is, this is x prime, and that will equal to 2, 3, 2, 1, times xy, and it will be 2, 3, 2, 1, what is xy? Is my capital X, so I have x prime equal 2, 3, 2, 1, x. Which is this one? So this is the matrix form. This is my first step to solve the homogeneous linear systems of this form. By the way, um, we'll talk about these coefficients. If you look at these coefficients, these are just numbers. So I have constant coefficient, constant coefficient. So now we'll talk about how to solve this homogeneous linear system where A is n by n constant matrix. Constant matrix, so all, all of its terms are constant. Or all, all of its elements are constant elements. Okay, let us see how, how to do that. First, I will find all eigenvalues. Okay. How to find eigenvalues? To solve to find eigenvalues, we need what's called characteristic equation. What is characteristic equation? Is this equation determinant of a minus lambda i, which will be, which will be a polynomial in in terms of a of of lambda. So we call it p of lambda, and we call p of lambda characteristic polynomial, which will be of degree n. So to find eigenvalues, I solve this one. A minus lambda i, the determinant of this is equal to zero. The value of lambda which I will get, we call it eigenvalues. What I will do with these eigenvalues, I will look for eigenvectors v such that a minus 
lambda i times v equals zero. So v is an eigenvector. Notice if v equals zero, nothing. If v always. If v equals zero, then it's always the solution. So we're not concerned about v equals zero. We are concerned about v not equal to zero. And we get an eigenvector associated with this eigenvalue. So I will, I will choose lambda. I will get lambda from this, from this step. Then for each lambda, I will try to find associated eigenvectors. So I get a list of lambdas. Yeah. Assume I get n independent eigenvectors. V1 I associated with this eigenvector. So I have a list of lambdas. And the list of vectors. This should be linear independent. Lambda one give me B one. Two give me B two. Lambda three give me B three, and so on. So you have n lambdas and n V's, where the V's are linear independent. Huh? And each V's comes from these lambdas. So I get the solution. I write it this way: V one E lambda one T. I have y1 or v2 or x1. Yeah, these are just numbers. These are just variables. And I get y2, v2, e lambda 2t, and yn equal vn, e lambda nt. So I get these are solutions. These are solutions. What will be the general solution of this system? It will be c1, y1 plus c2 y2 plus c and y if i did not get this linear dependent eigenvectors if it's not possible to find those then we need something which will be discussed later in section 7.6 we have different cases that will be discussed in section 7.6 by the way the eigenvalues which i'm getting from the first step usually they are either distinct the real eigenvalues or non real eigenvalues or repeated real eigen eigenvalues. So the first two cases, those will be discussed in 7.3, and the last case will be discussed in 7.6, which include this case. Okay. Now, if I have distinct real eigenvalues, what will happen? I have lambda one, that will give me B1. Lambda 2, give me V2. Lambda N, give me Vn. And for sure, these Vs, getting through these distinct real eigenvalues, are linear independent. So, I get what? I get the gel, I get the solution, X1. P1, E lambda 1T, X2. V2, E lambda 2T and so on, until I get xn will be vn e lambda nt. So to my general solution, that will be general solution. x equals c1, x1 plus c2, x2 plus cn, xn. Which just I list v, this is x1, this is x2, this is xn. So we get the solutions. A second case, if I have non real eigenvalues, how to write the non real eigenvalues? This is the way to write the non real. If all the coefficients are real and the equation will have only real, real coefficients, the normal, the normal equation will have only real coefficients. So if I get a non real, I will get its pair is also as, as uh, the solution because these they will come as a pair of conjugate eigenvalues. But it's bare, which means it's, it's conjugate, I mean. They will come as, as two. So I have lambda plus beta i and lambda minus, minus beta i. Then I get the eigenvalue associated with, with lambda, not with lambda bar, with lambda. I get the eigenvector. It will be, it has uh, the real uh, part. So I will split the eigenvector into real part and the real part, which is the one with the i. So I call the real part B1. This is the real part. And the imaginary part, this one, and I'll write it as B2. 
Then what will be my solution right away? My solution, the solution, huh? B1, the vector B1, which is the real part, times cosine beta t, which comes from the eigen value, minus B2, the imaginary part from the eigen vector, times sine beta t, the same, e to the power alpha t. Then I will change B2 here, and this is exchange B1, I change the sign also, minus plus. This will be two solutions. That's it. I have what will be my general solution then? C1x1 plus C2x2. The example will explain it. By the way, this is what we have in 7.3. Just we'll do examples now. So in 7.3, we did what? We explain how to rewrite the system into matrix four. And then we talk about these ter terminologies, characteristic equation, characteristic polynomial, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and how to write the solutions. And we have two cases, distinct real eigenvalues, which I'll get the eigenvalues, eigenvectors, then V1, E lambda 1T, V2, E lambda 2T, and so on. Then I have no real eigenvalues, which is this one. By the way, finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, this was discussed in chapter six before. Okay, now let us go to the examples. First, I want to rewrite this in a matrix form. So I have lit capital X will be X1, X2. So I have what? X prime equal 4, 2, 3, minus 1, X. So it will be my A, which I will work out, 4, 2, 3, minus 1. Okay, then I will try to find the eigenvalues for this A. So I have the value of A minus lambda I equal to zero. Let me see what will happen. That means what? 4 minus lambda, 2, 3 minus 1 minus lambda. We did a lot of these things in chapter 6. The five diagonal values, diagonal vectors. Okay. That will be lambda square, lambda minus 4 lambda, minus 3 lambda, minus 4, minus 6. That should be equal to 0. So I have lambda square, minus 3 lambda, minus 10, which is lambda minus 5 times lambda plus two equals zero. So I have lambda one minus two and lambda two equals five. These are diagonal values. Done. Now I'll go for each one. I'll find its eigenvectors. So for lambda one equal minus two, what will happen? I need to solve the system. A minus lambda I Yeah, just to remind you about what we did in chapter six, solve a minus lambda i, which is a plus two i, yeah, sorry, a minus lambda i, v. So I let v, the eigenvector k1, k2, and solve this, a, minus lambda i v, which is a plus two i v equals zero. So what kind of system I have? I have a plus two i, so instead of lambda, I will write plus two, um, yeah, minus minus two, so it's plus two. So I have six, two, three, minus one, minus minus two, plus two, it will be one times k1, k2, equal zero zero so i have two equations these two equations should be the same 3k1 plus k2 yeah very clearly if i multiply the second one by two i get the first one so i have k2 equal minus 3k1 that implies if we let a1 equal one we get k2 equal minus three so my v1 will be one minus three. That will be my eigenvector. Now for lambda two equals what? Five. I let V, is it called V1? V2, same thing, K1, K2. For sure different K1s, uh, different K1 can too, but usually we do it this way. And we solve this, A minus lambda I. The first example I'm trying to do it in, in details, which 
a minus five i. Here we have v, huh? which is v one. Huh? This is equal to v one. This is equal to v two. V two equals zero. So we have what? Four minus five minus one two three minus one minus five. That will be minus six times k one k two equals zero zero. So what we have, we have minus k1 plus 2k2 equals 0, and 3k1 minus 6k2 equals 0. Yes, they are the same. Multiply the first by minus 3, you get the second. If you do not get infinitely many solutions, it means there is something wrong. So that implies k1 will be 2k2. So let k2 equal 1, and get k1 equal 2. So I have v2 will be one, two one, not two one, one two one. Mm -hmm. Okay, one is, is two, two one. So what I have now, I have x1, v1, e, lambda one t. What is v1? v1 is one minus three e. What is my lambda, lambda one? Minus two t. x2 is v2. E lambda 2t, which is 2, 1, e to the power 5t. What will be my general solution? Right away, x, c1, capital x1, plus c2, capital x2. And that will be c1, what is e1? What is x1? 1 minus 3, e minus 2t, plus c2. 2, 1, e, 5, t, which is this one. So this is my solution. Yeah. Solve this. This is now 3 by 3. Yeah. I will let capital X to be X1, uh, X, not X1. Yeah. I let capital X to be X, Y, Z. I get what? The system. I have X prime, 2 minus 7. I don't have Z, so that will be 0. 5, 10, 4. Okay, 0, 5, 2 times mm -hmm. X. So this is my matrix. So A, which I will work out, is this one. Then we'll find eigenvalues. What are the eigenvalues comes from where? Eigen, eigenvalues. I'll solve the system A minus lambda I. And that will be what? 2 minus lambda. I solve this determinant equation. 5, 10 minus lambda, 4, yeah, 0. 5, 2 minus lambda. Yeah, I'll do the expansion with the first row. Let's do a solution, yeah. So that will be 2 minus lambda. Be careful. Then I have what? 10 minus lambda, 4, 5, 2 minus lambda. Okay. Is it 2, 2? Yeah. Okay. Minus 5. I said second row and first column. I have minus seven, zero, five, two minus lambda. Yeah, be careful now. That will be two minus lambda times what? Times ten minus lambda. You can calculate it. That will be lambda square, just to save time. Minus 2 lambda, minus 10 lambda, minus 12 lambda. Plus 20, minus 20, gone. That's it. Minus 5 times what? Minus 7 times 2 minus lambda. Okay, so I can take 2 minus lambda as a common factor. 
and they will get what? Lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 35. Plus 35. And then it will be 2 minus lambda. And this is what? Lambda minus 5, lambda minus 7. That is equal to 0. So I have lambda 1, 2, lambda 2, 5, lambda 3, 7. Good. I get, I get the three lambdas now. Now we'll do it one by one. So for lambda 1 equal to, yeah, what we have? We have the system A minus lambda IV. That will be what? 0. 2 minus 2, it will be 0. Minus 7, 0. 5, 8, 4, 0, 5, 0. Times K1, K2, K3. And by the way, I let X1 or V1. Huh? <coughs> K1, K2, K3. This is V1. That will be what is equal to zero zero zero. So what kind of equation they have? Minus seven k two equals zero. Five k one plus eight k two plus four k three equals zero. And five k two equal to zero. So from this, I'm getting k two equals zero for sure. And k one or five. Let me say k one. Let me do it in steps. 5k1 will be equal to minus 8k2 minus 4k3, which is implies in no k1, k2 will be 0. So this is goes to 0. So I have minus 4 over 5k3. So I sure I should have infinitely many solutions. So if we let K3 equal 1, not 1. I will let K3 equals, let me say, minus 5. You can make 5 minus 5, but I want to get the same answer, which is this one. So I have K1 equal 4. Both are correct. Hmm? So what will be V1 from here? So let me do it here. I think I need more space, but let me do it. Let V1, that implies in V1 will be, what is it? K1 is 4, K2 is 0, K3 is minus 5. Now we'll do this for lambda equal 5, lambda 2. By the way, yeah, from here, we can get x1. So he's asked us about the first solution. We can get it. That will be x1. 4, 0, minus 5, e to the power 2t. This is my first solution. OK. Now we'll go to the second lambda. Or lambda 2 equals, equals what? 5. What would happen? I need to solve the system. Yeah, I let V2, capital V2, to be K1, K2, K3. And solve this system. A minus lambda I, V2 equal the vector zero, which is, yeah, I'll try to do it here. Which is what? A minus 5. I. That will be minus 3. Minus 7. 0. 5. 5. 4. Oops. Yeah, you know what? Let me take it to the next page. I think it's better. I need another page. So. 
OK, so it is the system. It will be 2 minus 5, which is minus 3, minus 7, 0. Hmm? Yeah, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4. OK, 0, 5, minus 3. Minus. It's a solve it with K1, K2, K3 equals 0, 0, 0. And to solve this system. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, what I will do, I have minus 3, K1, minus 7, K2, that equal to 0. And I have 5, K1, plus 5, K2, plus 4, K3 equal 0. And I have 5, K2. Minus 3k3 equals here. So I can write k1 here in terms of k2. So you have k1 equal what? Equal uh, minus 7 over 3k2. And from this one, I can write k3 in terms of k2. k3 will be what? 5 over 3k2. Be sure you know, this satisfy this one. Huh? If, if I multiply by five, I have what? To be sure only, because they should have really many solutions. So it should this x and this should satisfy the one in the middle. So write everything in terms of K2. That will give me what? Minus 35 over three K2 plus 5k2, plus 20 over 3k2. That will be 20 minus 35, minus 15 over 3, which is 5k2, with negative, negative sign, plus 5k2, so this is 0, so this is correct. So I have, I let k2 equal 1. It's, uh, I mean, try to solve the equation the way you like, or, or let k2 equal 3, huh? or let k2 equal 3. Yeah, or minus three to make it like similar to that one. Both are correct, but I want it to be in the same format as this one. Huh? So I get what? K1 would be seven, and K3 equals what? Minus five. So my V2 would be seven minus three minus five. And what will be my second solution? V2, A lambda 2T. That will be 7 minus 3 minus 5, e to the power 5T. Now for lambda 3 equals 7. Yeah, the idea is very clear, but the calculation, it takes some time. Yeah. Lambda 3 equals 7. I have what? You know, the equation, the system, I need to let K3, let V3 equal K1. K2, K3, and solve this system. A minus 7, I, V3 equals 0, which means what? Yeah. Now I need the equation. 2 minus 7, that is minus 5, minus 7, 0. OK. I have 5, 3, 4. OK. The last one, 0, 5, minus 5. 2 minus 7 is minus 5. OK. No. Times K1, K2, K3 equals 0, 0, 0. I need to solve now for K1 and K2 and K3. So I have the equations. What are the equations? Minus 5k1 minus 7k2 equals 0. 5k1 plus 3k2 plus 4k3 equals 0. And 5k2 minus 5k3 equals 0. I'll do the same way as I did in the, in the second case. So this one I can write k1 in terms of k2. Take this plus, so it's minus 7 over 5, k2 
That's it, K2, sorry. K2. From this, I have what? Uh, K3 is equal to K2. Just I need to check and this satisfying this one. So let us see what will happen. If I substitute, you will get what? Minus 7 K2 plus 3 K2 plus 4 K2, which is 0. So this is correct. So I let K2 equal to, I think you, you do it minus 5. You can do 5 or minus 5, it's okay, or minus 10, anything you like. So that implies K1 equal 7. Yeah. And K2 will be equal to minus 5. So V3 will be what? 7 minus 5 minus 5. And X3 will be 7 minus 5 minus 5 e to the power 70. What will be my general solution? X, that will be C1, X1, plus C2, X2, plus C3, X3. And that is C1. But that will be what? What is X1? Where is X1? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we did X1. Where is it? Yeah, 4, 0, minus 5. 4, 0, minus 5 e to the power 2t plus c2 x2 x2 is here what is x2 yeah it's there 7 minus 3 minus 5 e to the power 5t plus c3 x3 7 minus 5 minus 5 e to the power 17 which is this one exactly 4, 0, minus 5, 7, minus 3, minus 5, 7, minus 5, minus 5. You can get the different answer if we choose different, different case. Yeah. But both are correct. Okay. Now we need to solve this. Yeah. Let's solve the system. So first we need, now, now A is ready. Hmm? Now we will solve for eigenvalues, I solve this one, the determinant equation, that will be 1 minus lambda, 2, 1, 6, minus 1 minus lambda, I think we get the idea, but now we are doing examples, minus lambda, I'll do the expansion with the second row, okay, so I have minus 6, cancel second row and first column, 2, 1, Minus two, minus one, minus lambda. Okay. We are correct. First, cancel the first row. Second row. And the first column, yes. Then I have plus. Minus one, minus lambda. Determinant of what? Cancel the second row. Second column, I have one minus lambda. One, minus one. Minus one minus one. I think we need to be careful the calculation. That will be minus six. What is this? Minus two, minus two lambda, minus minus two. That will be plus two. So I have minus two lambda actually. This is minus two lambda plus minus one minus lambda times what? Here I have lambda square. Okay, be careful now. Minus lambda, plus lambda, gun. Then minus one, plus one, gun. I have only lambda square. So this, you can write, take lambda common factor. That will make my life easier. I have 12. Minus one, minus lambda. All right, 12. Now I took lambda, minus lambda. Minus lambda square. In other words, minus lambda, lambda square, plus lambda minus 12. And that gives me minus lambda, lambda plus 4, 
times lambda minus three equal zero. So I have lambda one minus four, lambda two, zero, lambda three, three. Okay, you just do it in financial disorder. Okay. Now for lambda one equal minus four. Let P one, K one, K two, K three, and solve the system. And solve the system. A plus four I B one, which is one minus four, one minus minus four. That will be five, two, one, six, minus one, minus, minus four. That will be three, zero. I have minus one, minus two, minus one, minus, minus four. That give me three times K1, K2, K3. That should equal to zero, zero, zero. Mm. Let's solve this system. How to solve this system? Yeah, you can do it with Gauss elimination. You can do it with different methods. Yeah. If you want, you can do it with Gauss elimination. Let me Gauss elimination in this case. Gaussian elimination. So what I have? I need only this. Two one six three zero. Minus one minus two three zero zero zero. Yeah, first I will make this first row, so third row, make it the first one. I multiply by minus at the same time. Okay, that will be one, two, minus three. This is zero, will not be affected. Uh, interchange it, that will be six three zero. This is five two one. Zero zero. Actually, the last column I don't need it. The augmented this column because zero zero multiplied by zero add to add anything for sure it will not be changed. So I have what one two minus three zero multiply by minus six and add that will be zero by minus six and add that will be minus nine by minus six and add that give me what. Minus six and add that will be 18. This is still the same by minus five and add that will be zero by minus five and add that will be minus eight by minus five and add 15 plus one that will be 16. Zero that give me that. one two minus three. Divide by minus nine, I get one minus two. Hmm? Divide by minus eight, I get one minus two. Yeah, very clear what happened now. So I'm getting what? One, two, minus three, zero, one, minus two, zero, zero, zero. For sure, I'm getting infinitely many solutions. Now, that means what? I have K2 equal minus two K3. This is in the second row. The third, the first row, give me K1 equal 3K3 minus 2K2. And that give me K2 is minus 2K3. Plug it there, that's 4, that will be 7K3. Hmm. Okay, so is there a mistake somewhere? Is minus one minus two minus three. One two minus three. So K one would be three K three minus two K two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is plus. Yeah. I have K two is two K three. Plug it there. So this is will be minus 2k3 so that give me minus k3 yeah that give me minus k3 so i let k3 to be equal to one so that give me k1 is minus one 
and K2 equal to, so it will be V1, it will be minus 1, 2, 1. Yeah, it's correct. Now for lambda, 2 equals 0. I hope it will be easier, I'm not sure. Let V2 will be K1, K2, K3, and solve this system, which is AV1, AV2, because the lambda will be 0. AV2 equals 0, where we have AV2 is what? Is 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 6, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, times K1, K2, K3, equal 0, 0, 0. How do Gauss elimination? I think easier. So I have what? I have the segmented matrix, 1, 2, 1, 6, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. Be careful, this is minus 0, 0, 0. Yeah, I think this will be easier. It's ready. 1, 2, 1. Until we have minus 6 and add, that will be 0. By minus 6 and add, that is minus 13. By minus 6 and add, that will be minus 6. By minus, by 1 and add, that will be 0. By 1 and add, that will be 0. By 1 and add, that will be 0. Correct. Right. So I have what? I have K2, or let me be careful. Minus 3 K2, minus 6 K3 equals 0. That means K2 will be equal to what? Minus 6 over 13 K3. Is it? I did a mistake. This is one, two, one, six minus one, zero minus one, minus two minus one. Yeah, multiply by minus six and add, that will be minus 13. By minus six and add, that will be minus six. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, seems to be correct. Then plug it into the first row. And they have what they have in the first row. I have K1 equal minus 2K2 minus K1. Sorry. That's oh, minus K3, I mean. Uh, I'm writing everything in terms of K3. So my free variables is K3. Okay. So that will be what? Minus 12 over 13, that will be 12 over 13. K3 minus K3, which is minus 1 over 13 K3. So let K3 to be 13. What will be K2? Minus 6 and K1 minus 1. So it will be V2. V2, it will be minus 1, minus 6, 30. Yeah. Okay. I think I need on each. <laughs> okay. Now we'll do. Four, lambda three, lambda three. What was what? We have zero. What are the lambdas? Minus four, zero, three. Yeah, three. Okay. So I need to solve. Oh, let v three. I'm doing it in details. K one, K two, K three, and that will be. Yeah. And then solve 
this a minus three i v three, which is yeah, yeah one minus three that will be minus two two one times okay six minus one minus three that will be six minus four zero okay and the last one minus one minus two minus four times k1 k2 k3 equals zero 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 yeah how to solve the system i will try gauss elimination but first i will take this let me yeah do it using gauss elimination gauss elimination gauss elimination yeah g that's g where is it minus two two one six minus four zero minus one minus two minus four zero 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 the first the third row will make it the first multiply by one one two multiply by minus one that will be four hmm? zero this is will be the same and this first row it will be the second row the third row zero 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 then multiply by minus six and add. Let me see what will happen. By minus six and add, that will be zero. By minus six, that will be minus 12. Add it to minus four, that will be minus 16. By minus six and add, no, it's correct. One minus three. Now let me check the, the equation. One minus three, that will be minus two, two, one. Minus one, minus three, minus four, zero. Minus one, minus two, minus four. Correct. Okay. So now, I do minus six and add. That will be minus 12, minus four, minus 16, minus 24. Multiply by two and add, this is zero, zero, zero. That will not be affected. By two and add, that will be zero. By two and add, that will be six. By two and add, that will be nine. So now I divide by, by what? I have one, two, four. This is zero. I divide by eight. Yeah. I divide by eight. That give me by minus eight. That give me two. And this is three, zero. Now divide by three. That will be two, three, zero. Getting the class. This is very clear. I have one, two, four. This is zero. Zero, two, three, zero, 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 zero. Multiplying by minus by minus one and add it to the third row. So I have from here two K two plus 3k3 equals 0, so k2 is minus 3 over 2, k3. Plug this in the first one, I have from here, k1 equals minus 2, k2 minus 4, k3. If I plug k2 here, I have what? minus 3 over 2 times minus 2 this is will be 3k3 minus 4k3 and that is minus k3 so i let k3 equal 1 i'm getting what k2 oh i did k3 equal 2 make it 2 better so i have k2 equal minus 3 and k1 equal minus 2 so it will be my v3 v3 would be minus two. Okay, this is K one minus three two. Same answer. Yes. So now my solutions. Solutions. X one is B one e lambda one t. What was V one? What is it? 
minus one, two, one. Minus one, two, one, eight to the power minus 40. What is X2? It will be V2, E, lambda 2T. Be careful here. What is V2? V2 minus 1, minus 6, 13. Minus 1, minus 6, 13. E to the power, 0 T. So it is minus 1, minus 6, 13. That's it. E to the power 0 is 1. X3, it will be V3, E, lambda 3T. Lambda 3T. That will be minus 2, minus 3, 2, e to the power. What was my lambda? 3. So that implies my general solution. Oops. That's my general solution. X will be C1, X1, plus C2, X2. Plus C3, X3, and that, C1. What is my X1? Minus 1, 2, 1, E minus 40, plus C2, minus 1, minus 6, 13, plus C3, minus 2, minus 3, 2, E3, T. Yeah. Which is the same as this answer. Yeah, they arrange it in different ways, it's okay. But at the end, it's the same. Yeah, but I think this is, should be six. There is no one here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do this one, which was quick, then I will stop. Solve this system. Okay. Eigenvalues, A minus lambda I. That give me one minus lambda two, two minus two minus lambda. This will be lambda square. 2 lambda minus lambda plus lambda minus 2 minus 4, which is lambda square plus lambda minus 6, which is lambda, yeah, lambda plus 3, lambda minus 2, equals 0, yeah, minus 6, 3 lambda, yeah, plus 1. So I have lambda 1 equal minus 3, lambda 2, equals two. No, for lambda one equal minus three. Let V1, K1, K2, two by two is easy. Huh? And solve this. A plus three I, V1, which is one plus three, that will be four, two, two. Minus two plus three, that will be one, huh? times K1, K2 equals zero, zero. I have these two equations. These two equations, very clear, they are the same. 2k1 plus k2 equals zero. Multiply the second one by two, you get the first one. So I have k2 equal minus 2k1. So let k1 to be one, k2 will be minus two. So v1, 1 minus 2. You can find the solution. Actually, sometimes I'm doing this, but it's okay. Lambda 1t. That will be 1 minus 2. E minus 3t. Now for lambda 2, which is 2, I let v2 to be k1, k2. And solve this system. A minus, A minus 2i, v2. Which is what? 1 minus 2, that is minus 1, 2. And I have 2 minus 4 times k1, k2 is equal to 0, 0. So I have these equations. Sorry. These equations, which is what? Minus k1 plus 2, k2 is equal to 0. 2k1 minus 4k2 is equal to 0. So I have what? These two equations are the same, very clear. Multiply the first one by minus 2, you get the second one. So I have k1 equal 2k2. Let k2 equal 1. 
I have K1 is equal to 2. So my V2 will be what? 2, 1. And what will be X2? V2 E lambda 2T, which is what? 2, 1. E lambda 2 is what? Uh, two, yeah, two. General solution. X will be C one, X one plus C two, X two, which is C one. What is my B one? One minus two, E minus three T. Huh? Yeah, plus C two, two one, E two T. Which is this one? Yeah, in another world, in another way, it's okay. Yeah, let me stop the recording. Then I will do another another video. Yeah, each one is a little bit. Um, yeah, it takes some time, especially if it is three by three. I don't want to have a long videos, long videos. So I will I will stop the recording. Thank you.